does anybody here had a Commodore 64? Cool, for those who don't know what is it, it's, yeah, obviously this beauty. And it's the highest selling computer model of all time. And if you count like the number of games and demos released, there were like 70 and 50 of those uh, in the last couple of years, like each year. But if you count like every release, like uh, stupid games, small demos and graphics sounds, you count them in thousands. And so people love Commodore 64. It's not released anymore, but uh, here are the specs. It has 64 kilobytes of RAM, one megahertz processor, but it can't even multiply. There is literally no uh, multiply uh, command in the assembly. But people create things like that on Commodore 64. Remember, no multiplication. 64 kilobytes of RAM. One megahertz processor. Like it's 16 times more than everybody would ever need. Okay, uh, yesterday I've been giving a workshop here on creating a game. We made halfway through and I decided to release the show notes from uh, like the notes from the workshop and there are 10 lessons that you can follow and create a game from zero no com Commodore knowledge to a working game. So this is what you will learn. Uh, so first we will change the color. Oh, go on, sorry. First, you will change the color, then draw a level, and then draw some sprites, then move them around, then move them appropriate place, then change the color, use the appropriate graphics for sprites, then move it vertically, then add some delay, then move it horizontally, then move it using joystick, then detect some collisions with the fire and the exit, then use the collision detection to change levels, then add some colors, and then finally animate the flames. <laughs> so this is literally what you will learn from zero Commodore knowledge to uh, the working game if you follow this link. I will put it later, so don't worry about that. Uh, and final, hopefully someday we will learn to do things like that. <laughs> No multiplication. 64 kilobytes of RAM, one megahertz processor. 30 years ago. Okay, that's not all. Um, I left my job uh, a month ago, and right now, the, what I'm doing full time is I'm doing a weekly screencasts uh, for Commodore 64. It's some kind of like Ruby tapas, but for Commodore 64. And if you go to 64bytes.com, uh, you can buy a subscription. You can also see some free videos and some blog posts about programming Commodore 64. And uh, it's 10% off during the Polyconf. So I invite you to join 64bytes.com. Thanks. Thank you.